When I make chicken like that, there's nothing left. To start today's recipe, we will use two chicken breasts. We will use a knife and then cut into slices, and then into small cubes. As soon as we fully cut, we will put in a container to continue our recipe. Now we will also add three eggs, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and to finish, also three tablespoons of mayonnaise. The ideal then is to mix very well until all the ingredients are added to the chicken. Next, we will add also half a cup of wheat flour, and then we will mix again. Now we will also add parsley to taste, 100 grams of mozzarella, and to finish also a teaspoon of fried garlic. Now let's mix one last time. And before I forget, tell me which city you are watching us to send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Jose Alvarez from California. I'm glad you're enjoying our tips with this. We will have our mixture ready. Now in a pan, we will add olive oil and then spread very well throughout the pan with the help of a culinary brush. Next, we will add small portions of our recipe. Whenever I prepare this recipe at home, there is nothing left. Everyone loves and is surprised by the result. I'm sure this recipe will be the highlight in family lunches. Once you add the recipe, we will cook on low heat for 5 minutes next. We will turn the recipe to cook equal on both sides. Using only a few ingredients present in everyday life, we can make a recipe much tastier than those sold in conventional restaurants. And our recipe was already ready. Look what delight was. Teach that friend of yours that loves to eat chicken. I'm sure he will love and even do it often in his house. Only by consistency can we notice the difference of chickens prepared in conventional ways. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.